Hi, I'm Paul from Deutsche Auto Parts, your source for everything VW and Audi. Today we're going to be going over installing a Unitronic downpipe on our Mark 7 GTI. Here we have our Mark 7 downpipe. Now this downpipe is used on the R 2.0T GTI. It also would fit a 1.8T Mark 7 MQB Golf as well. Now we are installing this and then after we're done with this install, we're gonna be installing the Unitronic Stage 2 software. We'll have dynos and that stuff to come. Here we have the downpipe. It comes in these sections here. Main section, this part goes up to the turbo. And then this is the adapter that you would use if you wanna keep your stock exhaust. It is, includes the two gaskets and the V-band clamps that go here and here. The rearmost clamp that goes here if you're keeping your stock exhaust and the one that goes to, to the turbo, the V-band, are reused from the original vehicle. Here we are in the engine bay. We're here is the top of our engine. We're going to be working in the back of the engine bay right here with this V-band clamp that actually holds the downpipe to the turbo. And here we have our Allen. Now we have a wobble extension which gives you the ability to have flex um, while still getting the Allen in there really well. We're gonna loosen our V-band up and Now one quick note um, about our vehicle is these hoses right here are from our catch can if you don't have a catch can, this would all be open and you wouldn't have any hoses or anything over here. So obviously, it would give you much more space to work in. And then we're going to take our screwdriver and spread these apart. And we're going to unloosen this bolt a little more. And now sometimes, depending on miles and different areas you live in, this clamp is gonna be on there pretty good, especially for you guys up north, probably have a little more corrosion and rust. And then our V-band is off. Now, after we've loosened our V-band here, we're gonna take this oxygen sensor loose right here. And all we're gonna do is push the connector and then pull it out. And then you're gonna loosen it all along its guides and release it from these tabs. That way you can feed it down. Now this particular one down here, you actually need to release the tab and then pull it back to loosen this up. And you should see, we should be able to do, then pull our downpipe out from the bottom without anything in, interrupting. Okay, so here we are, we are going to loosen the downpipe itself from the mounting bracket that goes on the block. And these are 13 millimeters of holding on. Now our downpipe should be loosened from the bracket. Now we have everything removed up front. Now we're gonna take this bracket off our two 13 millimeters that hold it in place and then we'll swap it to our new downpipe. Okay, so we're gonna remove this brace. This might, may not need to come off, but just so you can see everything, we're gonna take it off so we have no obstructions while we're showing you this install. Now we have our exhaust clamp, which is a band clamp, which uses 13 millimeters. And 
Now you see everything is kind of loosened up. So all of this is loose. What we're going to do is slide our clamp forward. It'll drop the back down. We're going to slide this off and out of the way. And then we're going to pull our down pipe out. And we may want to take our axle covering off as it looks like it's in the way. We are going to remove this cover shield for the axle. And this is mostly so that you can get the downpipe out and clear without any issues. Just two 16 millimeters that hold it on. And it should rotate out of the way and pull clear. In this clip, we're going to be depicting removal of the downpipe. Unfortunately, due to some audio difficulty we had, we don't have any of the audio from this part. All we're doing is rotating the downpipe to clear the subframe and the tunnel of the vehicle. Okay, so here we have our Unitronic downpipe, and we are gonna take this plug out to swap the O2 sensor in, and this is a 10 millimeter Allen that holds that in place. I'm gonna swap that out. We have our VW O2 sensor that we're just gonna slide that out of the way for a second here. And we got our O2 sensor socket here. And you can use a wrench on that as well. And then we're gonna slide this over in place here. And then tighten that down. Again, a wrench or an O2 sensor socket would be fine. And make sure you tighten it pretty good so you don't get any exhaust leaks. And then we are going to swap over our bracket. Our mounting bracket here needs to be swapped off of here. And these are just these rubber grommets that hold it on. So you just gotta push it past that little nub there and do the same thing on the other side. And now we're gonna swap that on to our, our Unitronic downpipe. It might be helpful if you had like a little bit of silicone or something like that, you can, it'll make it slide on a little easier, especially considering these Unitronic ones look pretty beefy. All right, now we're ready for install. Here we are underneath the vehicle. Now we actually, Take, took this bracket that uh, mounts the downpipe to the block and loosened the, the 213s on the bottom. We also loosened, if we can see back here, there's actually a, a bolt that is perpendicular to the mounting stud that you can loosen it up to allow the stud to move around. So we loosened all this up and got the downpipe set in place so that it could fit on these studs. And as you can see, everything is in place and we're gonna tighten everything up. And we have our two 13 millimeter nuts. Now, if you're struggling, if you're trying to get it in place without loosening all this stuff up, 
uh, and you're struggling, this is probably going to be your reason why. So if that's the case, you're going to want to take this all off, loosen it up, and then get everything mounted and the clamp tightened up top just so that everything is kind of tensioned and then you can tighten all this stuff down. And here we are mounting the heat shield back on over the axle. We're going to tighten our bolts up here. Here we have our downpipe mounted in place. Now we haven't tightened any of these brackets down. We, all we have is the downpipe in place and then we had to get this v-band mounted and please don't make don't forget the gasket that goes in between this joint you are going to want to have a friend get underneath the vehicle with you to help you swing the back end of this around and hold it in place while you get these two v-bands held together and then we just have our v-band loosely in place and threaded and then we're going to tighten that up and these are 11 millimeter 11 millimeter nuts on this so you're going to want to snug these down. Keep in mind V-bands don't need to be ridiculously tight because all, all you're doing is get, keeping the tension on that, on that fitting. So you're going to keep tightening until it's kind of snug down and you can tighten a little bit more to make sure that it stays tight. So we have our V-band tight and we're going to get these two nuts threaded in. And just a quick note, something that we we had happen when we're mounting this all in place is when we pushed our downpipe into this rubber grommets, we pushed it too far in and uh, it made the depth of the rear side of the exhaust and the, the whole exhaust mount a little bit off. So you are gonna wanna pull these back out to the, to the back end of the vehicle. And we're going to get these two 13s. And tighten up the back. Here we are at the back of rear clamp of the downpipe. We're going to use our 13 and tighten that up. And the top of the nut spinning in there, so we're going to have to hold that in place. And you're going to want to, you're going to see this straighten up here as you tighten and we're all tightened up. Now all we have to do is mount our bar back in place. And again, whenever using power tools, it's good to Get everything threaded before tightening things. That way you know you're not gonna cross thread anything or have any problems. Now we can go up top. All right, here we are at the top of the vehicle again. We're just gonna double check. We had our V-band snugged up beforehand just so we can get everything in place but we're going to just give it a couple good turns more and get it bottomed out all right and again you are going to want to double check all these v-bands after the car has been run a little bit here's our o2 sensor and we are going to get all this pulled down route that in and you're gonna snap that back in place. Route it through here. And 
and slide that back in place. And now we're ready to do our stage two flash. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions, ideas, or feedback in the comments below.